Welcome to Finding the Voices. Today, we are here again for yet another series of 1001 Pagatiri Project. And we have a special guest speaker from Manipur, Singhajit Ningthaujam. Singhajit is currently a student studying Master in Radiology and Imaging Technology at Dhanamanjuri Community College, which comes under Manipur University in Imphal. So let me bring him up. Hi, Singhajit. Welcome to our show. Hi, Se. Good evening, Se. <laughs> yeah, it is morning for me, and I know it's evening for you. <laughs> Little bit of time difference here. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me in your show. Yeah, it's a, absolutely. It means a lot. Absolutely. So to um, start the show, I want to bring up a picture. If you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. That's what uh, Singhaji believes in. And I wanted to start the show with that. All right. So uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. It's a, my name is Singhaji Nithaujam and I am from Kamabok uh, Tawal, Manipur. I have completed my BSc in Radiography and Imaging Technology from Regional Institute of Paramedical and Sciences, Paramedical and Nursing Sciences, Gripans, uh, which is uh, located uh, at IJOL, uh, which is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India. And then after, after the completion of uh, BSc RIT, then I was working uh, for some time at uh, Advanced Specialty Hospital and Research Institute. Then after that, I got selected uh, as a junior uh, radiology technologist uh, at Babina Diagnostics Forum Pad. I was working there for some time. And then presently, I am doing my master uh, at Dhanam Manjuri Community College, which is under Manipur University. Uh, and then uh, one thing I want to say is that uh, I love the way I'm. I, I love the career that I'm pursuing now. I, I'm an extrovert person. I love to mingle with people of various community. Uh, I love to interact with people of various caste, creed. I don't. According to me, I don't have. I don't have any difference uh, among the various community. We are all same. The color of blood is red, as we all know, and then. See, I believe uh, in the fruit of hard work. Those who believe in themselves and then who believes in the determination and hard work, one day they will succeed. I believe in this. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have to echo uh, on your thoughts about hard work. Um, you know, everything comes out of the effort you put and... Uh, a lot of people forget that, uh, you know, when, when somebody is successful or have achieved something, there has been a lot of hard work which has gone, you know, behind the scene uh, on that success or achievement. Yes, yes, yes. exactly. All right. So, actually, I want to yeah, add, go ahead. I want to, add, I want to add something. I have one younger sister. Her name is uh, Nita Parani Devi. And then I have two younger brothers. And then uh, my father, my mother, we are six okay. in our family. Hmm. All right. So you are the eldest? Yes, I'm the eldest. So okay. You want to share a little bit about your parents? Yeah. My parents, um, about my parents, my father, uh, he's uh, a manager in a, uh, a jewelry shop. He is uh, running a jewelry shop, and then my mother have a uh, shop for clothes. Uh, so a shop which is selling clothes uh, at in Tabal uh, Bazaar, Tabal Kaitel. Both my father and my mother are having shop at Tabal Bazaar. So my mother is running uh, this shop, and then uh, helping my father in whatever way she uh, she can help financially. I can say she is. Uh, so both of them are self-employed. Yes, 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 they are self-employed. Got it. 
So for the first uh, part of our show, why don't you go ahead and nominate someone um, you know, in your personal space uh, and share your gratitude and thankfulness? Uh, it's important uh, I will nominate uh, my mom. Uh, her name is, uh, yes, I have already mentioned, her name is Nitojam Ongbi uh, Sunulata Devi. And then she, I will say she is a very hardworking lady and then God fearing lady. And so she, uh, first of all, I'm very thankful to you, uh, mom, for everything still now and then for giving me birth to this life and then uh, for the care that you have been taking since childhood uh, you, uh, she is the first teacher in my life because I have uh, started my education from our home and then uh, after that since nursery she picked me up down from school to our home, we have a bicycle. During that time, we uh, had a bicycle. And then because of that bicycle, uh, she bring me up down when I was uh, a kid. And then uh, after that, uh, she inspired, inspired and motivated me to be a good human being. And then uh, to be uh, how to, she taught me the value of life and then value of society and the value of family. And then she told me, uh, the, uh, she told me uh, it is not easy. Life is not easy. And then in life we have to struggle a lot. Uh, and then she told me that uh, I should not expect ease from life. I should think that life is so difficult. And then uh, according to the, because of it, I have to hard work with full determination under AM, under NM. So this is what she taught me. And then uh, one big thing is that uh, she uh, she uh, motivated and inspired me, inspired me to go for higher studies. So she told me. Uh, she told me I have to go for further studies. She, this is what she always told me. Then after this master master also, she told me to, not to uh, give up. She told me to go for further studies. Like uh, she told me to go for research and then to go up and up. This is what she told me. So uh, I'm really inspired by her. And then she she is my superhero, that I can say. <laughs> That's awesome. My, after doing all those things and then looking after me, my younger sister, my brothers, and then <clears throat> and then she will go to Bajar and then she will come back and then doing the household course. It is not easy, but she never said that uh, I am tired. So that is the, that's why uh, I, uh, I'm inspired by her. And then this thing called hard work, I learned from her. So I'm very, very thankful. Mom, love you so much. Even though I'm not staying at home, from the bottom of my heart, I salute you and then I respect you a lot. And then I will uh, I will follow you know, what you told me forever. All right, there you are. All right, so continue. I think you were um, sharing about your uh, appreciation for your mother and uh, sharing a message. So if you don't mind repeating that one more time. Okay, uh, and then uh, the career that I am pursuing now, that is uh, radiography and imaging technology, uh, which is uh, very, a very uh, important part of the healthcare. Uh, and it is related to diagnosis and the therapeutic part of the um, medical. So the career that I'm pursuing now, uh, she always support me. And then uh, she she have supported me since my uh, while since my degree course. I mean, while I'm doing since I'm doing my BSc, RIT. Still now, 
she have been supporting me so i'm thankful to her and then she will always be my inspiration and then for for whatever she have done for me and then the care and the love that she have uh, given me Nisha. so did i hear you say that you are not staying with her yeah 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 uh, i'm staying presently i'm staying at thangmaibal uh, thangmaiban so i'm staying here and then uh, my my parents are staying at kambu our home is at kambu melikai oh okay so you are in imphal uh, not with your family yes yes oh so you are you renting or yeah uh, i'm staying in a pg Oh, I see. Okay, so you are staying in a paying guest uh, location in Thangmaiban in Imphal, but your parents are uh, uh, located in uh, Kangabo. Yes, it's here. Oh, okay. So, you, okay. so your siblings, of course, they are with your parents. I see. All right. Yes. So how come, uh, I mean, of course, it's really nice to see you having a lot of inspiration from your mother. Uh, what about your yes. father? Yeah, my father, uh, of course, uh, I am thankful to him because uh, morally he also support me uh, since I would, uh, both financially and morally. Uh, he has been supporting me uh, since childhood. And then, um, let's see, obviously, uh, he also, he, he also uh, have been looking after me. Uh, so I'm thankful to him also, but <laughs> I guess it's uh, in in our, yeah, I guess it's because uh, you can express and communicate more openly with your mother. Yes, yes I can share everything <laughs> with my mother, but I feel a little bit hesitant to share uh, that with my uh, father. I I'm friends with my mother. Yeah, I have yes, seen yes. this uh, with, you know, many uh, families that... Uh, uh, you can openly talk uh, with your mother, but not so much with the father. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's interesting. All right. So thank you so much for sharing about, um, you know, your inspiration from your mother. And uh, it's really nice to hear that, uh, you know, you have taken a step forward from her inspiration, following education, coming to Imphal and pursuing uh, your career on imaging and radiology, which seems very interesting in the field of uh, healthcare IT. Yes, 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 thank you so much, yes. All right, so Singhajit ki imabu thagatjari akhoi ki platform sita. Thagatjari imab. Yeah, that's a beautiful picture. Yes, that is in our home. Okay, all right. Yes. Um, all right, so to move on, um, let's proceed to the next nomination, which is at the level of Manipur. Uh, who would you want to talk about and share gratitude and thankfulness for? Yes, uh, for that it's a, uh, I will nominate uh, Babung Aribam Syam Sharma for his contribution uh, towards the art and culture of Manipur. Uh, yes, we all know that Manipur is known for uh, art and culture and sports. So before sports, uh, art and culture, all art and culture were already known to people of all over the world. So uh, I will nominate him for what he have done for art and culture of Manipur in the field of cinema. So uh, he have uh, already uh, produced uh, 14 uh, feature films and then 28 non-feature films. So so uh, he, uh, uh, the first movie of Manipur, the first uh, film of Manipur that is uh, Matamgi Manipur. Uh, in that movie, uh, he directed the music. I mean, he he was the music director in that movie. 
So uh, he is a film director, music composer, or music director, uh, singer, and artist. And then uh, he even acted in that uh, first movie of Manipur, uh, which was produced in 1972. So uh, he uh, he directed the. Um, he was the music director of that movie and then uh, that imagining them, my son, my precious, my son, my precious, uh, my son, my precious, uh, in that movie, uh, he first got the recognition from uh, the world. So it was uh, nominated for the award Grand Prix. Uh, and then uh, the other two movies uh, uh, which have international recognition is uh, Isano and then uh, Isano which is the uh, Isano and the, uh, this one Sangai the Dancing Gear of Manipur uh, both this movie also got the international uh, recognition so uh, he has uh, contributed a lot uh, in the field of cinema for Manipur I can say that he is the pioneer of Manipuri cinema. So he is one of the pioneers of Manipuri cinema. So oh, he, so uh, most of his films is based on uh, socio-cultural situation of Manipur. So uh, when it shows uh, in the in many of the uh, international film festival, many people are interested because. Uh, it is related to social culture and uh, event or situation of a place. Like uh, he has shown, uh, he has uh, produced movies like Sangai the Dancing Gear of Manipur, Kaibulam Chau National Park, or Kids of Manipur. Like, and then other uh, important topics like Ras Lila and uh, Ras Lila, and then uh, that. Uh, uh, others also in the field of the indigenous sports, which all which are all related with the socio-cultural situation of Manipur. So, so uh, I am very thankful to him for uh, whatever he have done for Manipur. To, uh, he let Manipur know to all over the world in the field of cinema. So I am very very thankful to him. <laughs> yes, definitely Babung Aribam Sam Sharmabu Thagachari. Um definitely I'm so happy that you have nominated him and shared a little bit about his work and uh, contribution in bringing name to Manipur in the field of uh, cinema, arts and culture. So have you so, met him personally? Yeah, yeah, I have met him. Uh, I have met him before, and then uh, he have given me two books written by him as a gift. That's so books. awesome! Then, you are so lucky that you have met him. <laughs> yes, as I said, I'm still to he, meet him. I still have yeah, he's, met him, and I really want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, personally, he is a very uh, good person. He welcomed me very nicely, and then we talk. Uh, <clears throat> he, we talk a uh, little bit uh, career as a uh, head of department in the DM College. So, uh, in the department of philosophy in DM College, he was before he was working uh, as a. Um, Head of department in the DM, in the department of philosophy, DM College. So after that, he took voluntary retirement because he want to do a lot of work. He want to contribute something that he can do for Manipur. So, yeah. So he started doing doing a lot of drama. Uh, he started. Uh, he he have started. Uh, doing the direction of music uh, in drama then after that he come to film he 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 uh, he contributed a lot in the production of the movie matamgi manipur and then which is the first movie of manipur 
and then and then because of uh, his contribution in the art and culture and then film of Manipur, he was awarded Padma Sri in 2006. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. So tell me more about your meeting with him. Yeah, uh, before a few days back, uh, I went to his uh, home and then... Uh, oh, so first, the meeting uh, is very I, recent. Yes, yes, yes. because uh, he yes, yes, because uh, I can meet him long back, but uh, uh, <clears throat> yes, he is staying beside uh, the PG that I am staying now. So uh, recently, uh, so a few days back, I went to his home, and then he told me that uh, for at first I met uh, Ima, and then Ima told Ima called Pabung, and then we met, and then. We met and we sit together and then we talk. I asked him a few questions and then he answered me. And then uh, he told me, he even told me that Manipur Film Development Corporation, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this organization, uh, he had founded, he was the founder member for this uh, uh, Manipur Film Development Corporation, which is located now in Palace Compound, Imphal. So, so, and then uh, he told me that uh, uh, if you want to know more about me, then I can give you two more books, two, two books you read it, and then you will come to know about me very well. Then after reading these two books, if you want to know more, then you can come because you are staying very near. <laughs> and then this is what he told me that. Then I'm, I'm, I, re I really appreciate him because he, he went to voluntarily to retired men from his job at the College Department of Philosophy because his eagerness uh, to do a lot of things uh, about Manipur in the field of art and culture, drama, uh, films, and then even uh, even in the um, uh, modern song of Manipur. Mm -hmm. So, so have you started reading his book? Yeah, yeah, I have started uh, reading his book. All right. So, what have you learned the, so far? <laughs> so, uh, then, uh, uh, what I have learned from him is that uh, how much he had, how much the people uh, those days struggle uh, regarding shooting a uh, movie. They even went to uh, Mumbai for the shooting and then they faced a lot of uh, difficulties because technology was not that uh, uh, developed at that time so they struggled a lot and then uh, actors uh, regarding actors also there were no uh, actors which work in the film industry those days so, so there obviously there was theater artists but not uh, actors which are we have the knowledge of film mm -hmm. so he shared so, a lot of like the struggles uh, at the beginning yes, and yes, yes, yes. the growth and then he have uh, given me one uh, another book also uh, so that book is about uh, Matam, Matamise okay so is it the lyrics or how uh, yeah, yeah. Into yeah, 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 yeah. Um, many lyrics are there, which are uh, written by uh, by uh, Imasi uh, Binodini, Imasi M K Binodini. So many good, good uh, lyrics are there, which we don't find uh, everywhere. So wow, that's so uh, interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that we have yeah, a yeah. Look at that. I would love to get my hands on those books too and learn more so thank you so much for sharing that's really nice and you went you just went and met him and he gave it to you and say okay you want to learn more about me then here it is read that's so awesome <laughs> so, so and then uh, i want to say one thing also mm -hmm. see see many of the Manipuris are staying all over the world so we should never forget our uh, origin a yeah. big banyan tree, a big banyan tree, which is uh, originated, which is grown from a small seed, a small seed. 
So that big so we should not forget that small seed because of that small seed the big banyan tree is coming up so so wherever we are staying so we should never forget manipur that is our origin our motherland so that is what uh, i want to say and then uh, our pabung uh, aribam sian sharma uh, he even to voluntary retirement because uh, how much he love for manipur so so that is i really appreciate so even me i want to do a lot of things for manipur in the time to come i'm really motivated by him and then his story that's really nice yeah and thank you for sharing a little bit about him and your interaction okay. all right thank so before so much, we yeah. yeah move on um I do see a comment from our listener. Thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of our live show. So we have Johnson Sinam saying, wow, nice interaction program, Ichi Monica. And he has a follow-up question. Tell me more about Sangai. I think he's referring to your reference about the Sangai movie or about the Sangai documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will say he is my friend Johnson Sinam. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, the, the, our Pabung Aribam Sam Sharma. Uh, he have directed one movie called Sangai the Dancing Deer of Manipur, uh, which got international recognition in the International Film Festival. All right. So, yeah, I almost, know. It's I mean, I have not seen it. So the more I'm getting into our program and the sharings, what everyone does, uh, it's amazing that we find that we know very less, you know, and it's an opportunity for us to uh, share it so that we know more and find out. So definitely. Okay, see. You. All right. Thank you so much for your comment, Johnson, and your question. All right, so the next one uh, is um, a nomination for a person who has inspired you at the global level. Okay, it's a, uh, a portrait I will nominate uh, Nelson Mandela, which is the first uh, black president of South Africa. So <clears throat> he have done uh, a great job for uh, human uh, race. So. See, the barrier, he have already broken the barrier between the uh, caste, creed, race. So those days, uh, the, this system called uh, apartheid system was prevailing those days. Uh, yeah, in this uh, system called apartheid, the white people, they look down to black people and then uh, they use them they use them, the, those white people, they use the black people like, uh, I mean, in the physical works, the heavy works, just like slavery system, like that type of was prevailing there. So uh, he was, uh, he came out and then stood against that. And then, uh, so according to me, so still, many parts of the world this uh, racial discrimination is still going on even in india so we often heard of racial discrimination uh, to our brothers and sisters who are studying in the many parts of india from the northeast so so still uh, we need a person like nelson mandela we need person like Nelson Mandela more in the time to come. So, so that we can uh, abolish uh, this racial discrimination. So we all are same, even though our color, caste, creed are different, the color of blood is red. So we should love each other and then we should uh, stay together in peace and harmony. So, so uh, he was he was staying for uh, 27 years uh, in jail so because of uh, his 
fighting against that apartheid system. So then after that, uh, he he moved out of the jail and then he even got Bharat Ratna in 1990. And then he got, he even got the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993 so respecting what he have done for the rest of mankind so people may think that what he have done is only for south africa it, it is not because he have shown to the world that there should not be be barrier according to caste creed or color so we all are same this is what he have shown to the world and then the importance of this is more the importance of this is becoming more day by day so even though he uh, have expired the teachings that he had given us is still we have to remember it and then we have to follow it also absolutely yeah thank you for sharing and your sharing is very relevant to um, you know, some of the news we see on racial discrimination where people from the North East and Manipur are also impacted. Yes, 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 exactly. So tell me, like, okay, we do hear about racial discrimination, you know, um, within India. So what is your opinion about within Manipur? Because we do have, like, a lot of ethnic groups in Manipur. Um, so can you share your thoughts on the current status scenario? Uh, according to me, we are staying, we are <clears throat> staying in love and harmony. Uh, we should never listen to external forces. So we, if we see love is the only thing that will bind us together. Politics will divide us, but humanity will unite us. So uh, this thing called love and humanity will unite and then will bind us together with the with the bond of love so love is what we which is necessary so according uh, to me uh, we are staying in harmony there is no racial discrimination in manipur uh, i have a lots of friends i have a lots of um, tribal friends i have a lot of muslim friends so i don't see my friend who is from Sultanpur or from Senapati is other human being. I see him uh, as a, my friend. I don't see him as a, another human being. I see him as a, my friend and then I love them. So that is what I felt. And then in Manipur, uh, <clears throat> from the historic times, uh, the relation between the the tribes and then uh, Maite people are so related. Even in Lahraba, we have Tankul Nurabi, and then even uh, well, during the marriage time, if a Maite girl, if a Maite girl is going to marry, then uh, from the girl's parents side, they will give one lorum fee which is uh, a cloth for Tankul community. So this shows that we have a very uh, important uh, relation uh, since uh, long back. So historically we are connected. So we are brothers and sister. Even Mera uh, Songba, we are still, we are still celebrating. So this we even have festivals which uh, we celebrate with the Maite people and then uh, mm. tribal people of Manipur. So I think that there is no racial discrimination in Manipur. Yeah, thank you so much for bringing out the relevant sharings, um, you know, uh, between the different communities uh, in Manipur, uh, which uh, you have rightly pointed out that humanity is what is going to connect all of us and i see yes. that you are uh, deeply empowered by and inspired by nelson mandela's work um, in you know thinking about uh, human beings in 
the global level without any racial discrimination, discrimination of any form or shape, be it color, caste or creed. So yeah, absolutely. Yes, Thank before. you so much for sharing. Thank you so much. So is there any... Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, is there anything else you want to uh, share or add before we move on to the uh, last part of our um, show? So uh, in this situation of Manipur, so yes, I have already uh, said, we should not listen to external forces. We cannot, we cannot, we should not uh, we cannot be influenced by political politics from outside so the things which we need as of now is love so if we love among ourselves among the communities we are living together since olden times so if we love among us then no one can defeat our love so no one cannot uh, influence us and then no one cannot fight among us if we are if we love each other so uh, let's love each other let's help each other then we we are all same there's no difference among us that's, yeah, that's what i want that's to really nice to hear from uh young person like you, uh, you know, sharing about love and harmony. And I'm definitely sure that, uh, you know, as you have shared at your level, you are mingling, um, you know, with the different ethnic groups uh, um, in harmony. And, you know, if that goes and spread with many people in Manipur, I'm sure, you know, we won't be seeing much of the conflict. So definitely yeah. keep on sharing the love and, uh, you know, spread out the harmony within the state. You see, and then I want to add one more thing. Uh, even during my college days, um, I stayed, uh, my roommate was uh, Assamese and Mijo. So I learned a lot from them and then they learned a lot from me. So that is how it was going on. And then we were so cooperative regarding study also we have we discuss a lot and then we help each other we stay in stay in harmony there was no problem when we people from eight states northeastern states were staying uh, studying uh, in that uh, in the college that i was studying so there was no racial racial discrimination nothing was there so we love each other we help a lot uh, we help each other a lot uh, regarding studies and then when we need something uh, we help each other and we were staying in harmony those days absolutely yeah we do learn a lot from the diversity uh, you know in within the community so uh, and it's exciting right different culture different yes, food yes, yes. and you learn and you teach about your own culture to uh, the other people. So yes, I'm so happy to um, hear your experience on that. All right. So uh, before we move on to the last part, just want to quickly share a comment from Jamunad Fani. Thank you so much for watching. Informative and love it. <laughs> yeah, I love sharing okay. comments and interaction in between our show. Thank you, Jamunad Fani. For the yeah. comment. <laughs> yes, he's tuning in from uh, uh, from USA. Okay, thank you so much for watching the show. All right, yeah. so um, yeah, I just want to ask you the last question. If there is any other um, thing you want to share in any topic. Okay, uh, for that, uh, you see, um, I want to share more about the uh, global climate change that okay. we are facing now. Okay. Uh, during the summer time, we are facing uh, the problem of warm, and then during the winter, we feel extremely cold. So the, all this happens because uh, of our. It, it, this all are created by us only. We have cut down uh, the trees and then we don't plant 
uh, in place of it. So we did deforestation and then we burn a lot of uh, things which are polluted to the year, like plastics and all. And then, uh, and then uh, regarding plastic, uh, regarding uh, and then uh, we throw the uh, this the uh, the plastic, uh, this polythene and all here and there. So it pulls not only the uh, not only the soil but also in the year. So. Uh, so I want people to have more concern about the environment that uh, we are uh, living. So because of this environment, uh, because of this environment, so we can we can survive in this uh, world. So I want people to uh, plant more t trees, uh, and then to I want people to make the art green, a greener art, so that uh, this. Uh, this uh, global climate change will be a little bit better. So that is what I want uh, to share. And then uh, I want people to use uh, eco-friendly things. And then it will also help in in becoming the uh, in our environment better and then a better art. So uh, this photo, it, it is the... Uh, trees planted uh, in the uh, in our Kamabo, uh, the in the river bank so uh, there is one organization so uh, there's one organization headed by uh, this brother our brother uh, Devan Lashram Devan Lashram so uh, he made one organization and then under that organization uh, he started planting all these uh, trees since uh, 2016. Now the tree is quite tall and then mature enough. So I feel really glad to see this type of uh, things coming up. So I hope people will learn from it and then uh, will help and then will do tree plantation in the time to come. And then right now is the best time. I mean, we should not uh, we should not do it later because we are facing the problem of global climate change now. So we should uh, start acting now so as to solve the problem of global climate change. So. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I appreciate you sharing about being conscious you know about global climate change how we at an individual level can contribute and thank you for sharing about the initiative of planting trees and uh, yeah that's beautiful and it's yeah. really and amazing that more and more people in manipur i'm seeing are uh, you know like uh, contributing to nature to activities like this so really really appreciate you sharing that and then this organization called Voluntary Network for Green Art, which is uh, headed by uh, our brother, Devin Lajram. So I'm really uh, thankful to him. Uh, so the, uh, he, 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 the photo, uh, this photo is uh, him. Okay, so this is Devin Lajram? Devin Lajram. Oh, he's the yeah, one yeah. who started uh, uh, about planting trees. Yeah, yeah. Recently, uh, he was selected uh, as assistant professor in political science. So uh, he has done a great job, and then I'm really inspired by him. So uh, I have joined the, the the organization which was uh, made by him, Voluntary Network for Green Art, and then uh, in later in the tree plantation program, tree plantation program, I myself going to join and then help him as a volunteer. So this is an organization in which uh, all the people can join voluntarily. Oh, that's so. awesome. It's so nice uh, to hear that like yesterday, um, you know, we were talking about Blooming Manipur and now you're telling yes, about, yes. you know, another organization uh, uh, who is initiating on planting trees. So I'm really happy to hear a lot of uh, people thinking in that direction to think about climate, to beautify the place and... Um, 
and that also volunteered by people uh, of each locality. So awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And thank you to yes, yes. uh, Devin Lystrom for the initiative. Thakachari. Mm, Thakachari. Devin Lystrom. I hope I haven't missed any picture. So let's just go through all the picture you have sent uh, to me. Um, okay, sure. Okay, so this is you in your yeah. uh, university? Uh, no, no, it's not in university. Uh, this is a uh, photo that was uh, taken when I was doing my uh, internship for one year at Notice Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences, Negrims Hospital, Silong. Okay, so, awesome. So that experience must have been really good for your career. Yes, yes, this is a 120 slice multi detector CT cement. Uh, I, I was handling this uh, machine, CT scan machine, during my internship there. And then uh, those uh, uh, staffs, those radiographers, doctors, radiologists, uh, international radiologists, neuroradiologists, I'm very thankful to them. Uh, because they help me a lot in the practical knowledge. So theory without practical is useless and practical without theory is useless. So during my internship, in my career, during my internship, I learned a lot from the Department of Radiology and Imaging, Negrims Hospital, Shilong. So I'm very thankful to all the staffs there. So, and then uh, I am indebted and I owe them. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. They, they teach me a lot. They teach me a lot. Okay, this and picture then, uh, we have seen. Yes. And this is relevant to Babu Maribam Sam Sharma's movie. Okay, this is about the tree plantation. Tree plantation. And this is your coat, which you are inspired by. Yes, yes picture with your mother and Nelson Mandela, Babu Ngaripam Sam Sharma, and yes, many years of Manipuri cinema. So I think I've covered all, right? Yes, 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 we have covered all. All right, so um, yes. Yeah, I want to share a little bit uh, more. So in the uh, younger, in our younger generation, so those who are uh, still a student, what uh, I recommended, uh, what I want to recommend is that go for uh, higher studies. So uh, go for higher studies, it will solve the present situation, of not only for Manipur, but also all over the world. It will help a lot, it will solve the problem. So, so if we go for higher- so What uh, do you mean by higher education? Do you mean graduation uh, or do you mean master level? Uh, going for master and then after the master going for uh, PhD, postdoc, and then uh, being a researcher. Uh, so I, I really, I, I really uh, admire to all the researcher. Okay. So, okay. So your recommendation is that if uh, people want to be in the line of education, it's uh, good to pursue it, uh, you know, till the highest level. Yes. Yes. Our, our brother Tangjam is also uh, is also a postdoc researcher. Uh, uh, I'm really inspired uh, by uh, him. So even me, I want to uh, after this master, uh, I want to do research in the field of radiology and imaging, in the radio diagnosis. So I want to do research. So uh, I recommend to go for further studies. It will help a lot in solving the uh, present scenario. I mean, uh, the problems that we are facing now, it will help. So many intellectuals will come up, many, I mean, <clears throat> so those intellectuals, uh, they will produce the knowledge and ideas, and then politicians, they will work on it. So we need intellectuals <laughs> to yeah, make the... Thank you for sharing yes. your thoughts and also I want to wish you good luck, um, you know, with your aspiration to 
study further and um, my best wishes to you and your uh, career ahead and learnings. Uh, thank you so much, Isi. And then I want to uh, speak a little bit about you also. Isi, thank you so much for taking uh, the initiative for such a wonderful and amazing, amazing show, finding the voices. So uh, through this show, we can hear the voices of Manipuri who is staying all over the world. I am motivated and inspired by all their stories, all their stories. So, so you have done uh, a great job for Manipur. Uh, so through this show, we can learn and we can share stories of successful Manipuri staying all over the world. Then I am wishing you a grand success in the future also. Then uh, even me, uh, I'm thinking of helping you in whatever possible way I can help uh, in making this so a more perfect one. It's already perfect, so I, in making it more perfect and beautiful, I <laughs> want to help you in the possible way I can help. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much, and I welcome your um, help and volunteering for the show because we definitely need more and more people, um, you know, to uh, spread the positivity and intent and vision of our show. And I think um, right now, of course, you know, our show is for the people and it's run by the people because. Uh, all the participants who are coming in our show are voluntary and, um, you know, it's by reference. So uh, I think for the most part, everybody has a job to do, like, you know, for a living. And we are all getting together and finding the voices to to exactly. create the space, you know, to follow our heart, uh, the calling which we have in us to connect all of us as human beings. Um, so um, I would definitely welcome your help and I think right now at the top of my uh, head what I can think about is I do want to include all the diversity in our show um, and so I know that you have mentioned about uh, your friends uh, in the Muslim community and tribal community and I really want them to come up to our show and share their story, their voices, their gratitude and um, that is going to connect all of us. So, uh, definitely, like, that's one area where you can help them with. Okay, okay, sure, sure, I will do that. <laughs> so, thank you so much, and I know that uh, your voice connection is there, but your video connection is frozen. Uh, but the good thing is we have gone to the end of the show, and I really want to thank you for participating in our show. Uh, thank you so much, Isi, for inviting me uh, in such a wonderful uh, talk show of Manipur, finding <laughs> the voices. And then I'm wishing again a grand success uh, and all the best from my side, from the bottom of my heart. And, uh, thank you, Isi. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And lastly, I want to just quickly share a recommend from H. Dhiran Singh. Um, I agree with you, pollution is a real issue. So he uh, this was a comment when you were talking about global climate. So thank you, Dhiren, for your comment. Uh, thank you, uh, Sir Dhiren, uh, for uh, your comment and for watching the show. Yeah. And to all the listeners, thank you so much for uh, watching the show. Uh, and you would agree that every show we are learning new things. Um, and the sharing really does empower uh, us, you know, so thank you and I invite you to uh, be a part of the 1001 Tavichiri, uh, share with us um, from your heart, you know, share about gratitude, thankfulness for the people around us and I believe that is going to uh, connect all of us and bring us positivity. Uh, thank you uh, so much for watching our show today, have a lovely day.